everybody welcome back to my channel i was just in the process of taking some pictures that i was going to post on my instagram and i noticed um so many differences with my plants a lot of new stuff happening so i figured i would come on here and do an updated plant tour so i'm going to show you i'm going to split it up into parts so it won't be too long and um the kids are quiet right now so i'm gonna take advantage of that i'll just do my shelf so everything that's on um, my new plant shelf. I'll talk about that and yeah, just show you what's going on. So if you'd like to see updated plant tour part one, stick around. All right. So it's not the brightest day today, but that is okay. So let me just scan back. This is my new shelf set up here. And this shelf is from Ikea. It's from the, um, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's V-I-T-D-J-S-O. It's the one that everybody pretty much has. It's from that collection. Um, I searched and searched. I, I wanted this because of the glass shelves. Um, so I wouldn't worry about the ones. All of my plants don't have trays underneath it. And with the glass, as you can see, it needs to be cleaned. But with the glass, I don't worry about um, when I water, when it leaks out. Because it's glass and I can just wipe it up. So um, I looked around for other shelves i didn't find anything and so i finally well the one that i did find i didn't care for the price and i wanted this one so i figured in comparison of price because i did have to pay shipping which is the part that gives me an attitude because um if you shipped from ikea you know the shipping is not cheap so anyway that's the whole spiel on that shelf that's why i ended up um picking it for the other shelf i was going to go with i figure you know if i'm going to pay that amount I might as well get the one I really want. And it's pretty much the same price once it's all said and done. So let's start at the top. Right here in this, um, that's a green tinted glass. It's a whiskey decanter. I have a video about thrifting for plant um, accessories and decor. In that one, I discuss where and how I found that. But this little couple branches is all that's left of my big beautiful philodendron brazil that's like really my fault because i it showed signs um that it wasn't happy and i just was like well i'll get around to it. i'll get around to it because it was so big and i didn't want to be bothered with the repotting and i let it go too far and by the time i pulled it out the roots were very very damaged they were hair thin the ones that were there um the pot just ended up being too big even though the vines were really long the pot itself was too big for what was in there. Cause you know, when you buy a lot of times at big box stores, they put several, um, you know, you end up with several cuttings inside of a pot to fill it out. So it wasn't really like well established. And so I should have just repotted it sooner. I didn't blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this is what I have left. So it's in the water and hopefully it will root up for me. This is what I have left from the main plant pot. I have, um, you'll see in the other parts of the tour, I have one, two, three, four other smaller sections that I propagated. And so they've grown fine. I propagated those in the beginning. Um, this wooden piece back here, I also thrifted that from Goodwill. I had this DIY idea I was going to do. I wanted to do... Um, foil like the the silver leaf gold leaf but i decided i like to look at the wood so i left it um have my ray done watering can up here they get like this shelf up here gets light but it's kind of almost above the window if that makes sense like it's at the highest point so i put the plants up here that need the least amount of light and i figured they would be fine and they have been so i have um this is the a cutting also last remaining of that big um heart leaf philodendron that i had um that ended up succumbing to root issues as well but this is a cutting i took it started off like it was this kind of like little piece right here and you can see it is really taken off so i have that i have a piece of my snake plant that i separated out when i repotted that these barely hanging on <laughs> pitiful string of hearts i don't know it's putting out hearts but they're so tiny and um so 
I don't know. I'm just leave it there and see what it's going to do. And then in that white pot right there, I have a long vine of golden pothos. And since we're right here, I'll just go to the window. This here is what's left of, if you follow me on Instagram um, or see some of my older videos, I did have a golden pothos totem. This was the original one I had. I decided that I wanted it to trail. So this is what's left of that. And I also separated it and took some cuttings. So I have a long vine in the bathroom. So this hangs out right here in the window. I have an idea for a project, but you know, with everything going on, I can't get out to the store. So it's gonna have to just sit there for now. This beauty right here is my philodendron. I mean, what am I talking about? My Hoya Crimson Princess. And I bought this, it was really full when I purchased it, but it has also grown a whole lot. You can see all that new growth right there. It does really well. I just leave it alone, wait for it to wrinkle, soak it with water and put it back up till next time. So that's been doing well. Now right here, while we're here, oh, is this a dead leaf? Yes, it is. Okay, this one here is my Hoya um, Wayeti. And again, this was one that when I purchased it, it was nice and full and it has also continued to grow. You can see all this new growth and stuff right here. Same thing with this, um, well clearly, I haven't checked on it because I just got found two dead leaves. But while we're over here, I might as well keep looking. Um, this one is sort of the same thing. I wait until there's signs of wrinkling and I um I wait until there's signs of wrinkling. I'm gonna have to go back in through here because and see that's why it's good to do stuff like this too, because you get to check on the plants because I haven't checked on it in a while. Normally I only check on it when I'm going to water it. So I water this one when it starts to pucker, look a little droopy. Um, that's when I'll give it like, you can see right here, it's kind of wrinkling a little bit. This will need water soon. And then with the Hoyas too, I'll pick them up. That one still feels okay. When they're like super light, you know they need more water. So there's that one, that one's doing well. This right here, I have like a love-hate relationship with. That is a, what is it called? Raindrop Peperomia. I got this in a giveaway from Coastal Farms. I won and it didn't ship well. Um, this is the original damage from shipping. No matter how much I water this thing, it's curled. So I don't know. Um, but it's still alive and kicking, so I try to just leave it alone. And it has like this one perfect leaf. This is the one, the one that gives me hope. So <laughs> I'm hoping the other ones are like that. Oh, I just see, notice the new leaf right here. So I guess it's happy, but mm, I might pass this one along because like I said, I don't really like it too much. And what do we have back here? I'm trying to show you without moving everything around. That little terracotta right there, you can see the little piece sticking up. That has my um, string of turtles. I did some propagations. I have a video on that. That's the result of that. So that one's just sitting there. I have them staggered across the house to see which one does better in like different lighting and humidity conditions like that. This is the taco plant. I don't know what's wrong with it, um, but it's still doing something. So I decided to leave it here. I'm not sure what's causing the yellowing. Um, yeah, it did best when I had it in my kitchen. I never remember the, the location, the directions of the windows. I'll make a note of it if I remember. It did well in there and then I moved things around. I brought it in here and it was starting to stretch. So I moved it closer to the window and this is what we have. So I don't know. I think that's a perfect example though of when your plants are happy, just leave them alone. Like if they're in a, a location that they're happy with and growing, for the most part, if you can, I would say just leave them because that's another plant that I've had that, um, that's not the only plant I've had that experience with. Like once I moved it, that seemed to cause 
all of the issues. So moving on right there is my avocado seed, which as you can see those roots at the bottom. If you look right here, you can see the roots at the bottom is branching out. This is doing really well. I'm not good at keeping track of where I started, but it's been, it's been a couple months at least with that. And once I moved it to brighter light where it is now, that's when all of this top portion came out. It had like a little root in the, um, I could see in the inside of it when I had it in a less light area, but definitely the bright light over here has had it to grow like that. Um, right here, one of my favorites and I'm still trying to get the hang of is this Hoyle Nearest. It's having some, like you see right here, this one thinning. So I haven't quite got it perfect for this one yet, um, but I put it back here. <coughs> Excuse me. I put it back here, grab my water bottle, because I have over here this humidifier. And so I put it over there because I figure the more humidity, the better. I think that was too far away from the light though, because I started to notice it was looking a little sad. So I put it back over here and all of that, you can see at the top, that's like standing Mommy, straight up. It has perked back up. So I'm guessing it likes here, it here best. So I'm gonna leave that there um, for that purpose, because again, that's where it was happiest at. So I should just left it, but it has, it is growing, you can see, the softer ones, like that lighter color green, that's the new growth compared to the darker green, firmer ones. So that one's really cool. And I did get that from plantarena.com. I'm sure everybody knows about her YouTube and all that, um, but she does sell plants now. And so that's where I got that. Right here, you have my um, whale fin. I bought this from, I found him on Instagram. Um, he has a shop, the plant boy, that plant boy, something like that. It hasn't done much of anything since I've had it. Um, so I'm guessing they're like slow growers or whatever. I try to, to rotate it because it's leaning. Like you see how much it's leaning, like towards the light, but it pretty much looks how it, is. it did when I got it. I've had it for over a month. Now, this right here, which I'm really excited about, um, it's a rehab plant was what she, she said, she considered it a rehab plant because it doesn't have all this variation and everything. Um, but she said that another part that she sold, um, she gave me this one. I bought some other plants from her and she gave me this one. But she said that a piece that she sold to someone else um, had gotten some really nice coloring and she showed me a picture of it. So this is a philodendron painted lady, nice and big. Um, so I'm putting it up here, hopefully with some nice bright light, I'll get some of that, um, you know, that splattered, not really splattered, but that color variation that you get with a painted lady. So I'm excited about this one. Behind the here, that is a uh, Bonnie spider plant. It's the curly version. That came from Hertz Garden. It was super big. I was shocked about how big it was. And let me come around this way. It'll be easier for you to see. I was shocked about how big it was, but it's been doing really well. I just leave it alone. Um, water it when I'm over here checking on other stuff. I'll give it a drink. But it seems to be doing very well. I had one before, and I don't know exactly what I did to it. It was a rescue to begin with, and then it just didn't end up making it but i had another spider plant it was the regular version it was variegated though and it did really well up until i changed the pot and then it just never bounced back <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> but i have read somewhere that they like to be root bound so perhaps that's what caused it so anyway i'm just leaving this one alone and it's doing well what else we have in here There's a little um, spider baby that somebody gave me. I just put that in. More string of turtle cuttings, a Hawarthia. And right here, you can see that these are supposed to be variegated string of pearls. Now, 
They are variegated for sure. They look like they could take use a little water, but I don't think they're string of pearls because let me move it up closer. Let me pick it up so you can see. Um, yeah, they definitely need some water. See that puckery? Um, but they don't. I don't know. They're not shaped how my string of pearls were shaped. Like they're more teardrops. So. This could very well be a string of tears. I'm pretty sure that it is because when I had my regular string of pearls, I don't think the variegation changes anything. When I had my regular string of pearls, they had perfect circle shapes. So this is like, whatever. <laughs> this is kind of like a impulse buy with something else that I wanted and it was so cheap. So I got it. But as you can see, I haven't been paying much attention to it because I didn't know it needed order. So, I will do that. And then this lovely, lovely lady here is a philodendron pink princess. It is a cutting. I have it in water. I need to switch the water out. And I got this from the same person I got the painted lady from. And it was a funny story <laughs> that she told about it. Um, but yeah, she, long story short, is not wasn't the biggest fan of it. So she asked if I wanted a cutting of that, and so I did. And it's doing really well. That leaf you can see right there is unfurling. Um, it had that leaf on it when she brought me the cutting, um, but it was completely closed, and now it is opening. This little bit of damage to this leaf right here was already there, but I don't think it does anything to take away from the look, so I just left it. And yeah, it has some nice variegation on it. I used to be, when I first started getting plants, I was definitely the type to like remove all the ugly looking leaves. But certain ones now, I just leave it. Um, it's not, you know, it's not too bad. Adds a little character to it. Um, <clears throat> let's see. This is the sought after philodendron Birkin. Um, I was excited to get it. This is from Gabriella's Plants. Bought a couple things from them. Mm. The quality was so so. I think I may do one, one more. Try one more order from them and see if my mind changes. But based on the one order that I did, I wasn't really impressed with the plants. Um, this is looking a little droopy right now too, so it probably needs some water. When I first got it, I think I was overwatering. I know I was overwatering, and so I had some like yellowing. <clears throat> I lost a couple of leaves. I had some yellowing on the tips because it just looked so sad when I got it that I overdid it with the water. But it is putting out some new leaves. So far, the only ones with any um, color variation are the same two. Let's check this one. Nope. Was from the same two. Like these are two original leaves and they had the striping. So that's that. I'm not really too impressed with it. I don't know if I'll keep it. Um, <clears throat> this is a Sansevieria. I think this is a starfish one. This one is so funny because this guy seems to be the only one that wants to grow. I repotted it, um, so I gave it more space. Somebody told me that sometimes they need more space for the other ones to grow, so I don't know. Um, I gave it more space and it still grows like it's giving me the finger, so. <laughs> this is from, again, the girl who I got, the painted lady and all that. I think I'll do a separate haul because I got some really good plants from her. <clears throat> but this is um, Hoya uh, Obavata. I think I'm saying that right. It has some speckling in it. And she said she had it in the water herself for like three weeks. It has some like small roots. But since I've had it, you can see that long root right there. And I haven't had it that long. It has definitely taken off with the roots, so I'm gonna leave it in there for a while. I've had them hmm, since Sunday, today is, what is today? Who knows what day it is with all of this going on? I think today's, no, today's Thursday. So I haven't had it a full week yet, so it's doing well. Uh, what else is on this shelf? I knew this was gonna be long, that's why I'm just gonna do the shelf. <clears throat> I'll separate the other parts, but anyway, Again, from that same girl. It's a local person that I met on Instagram. This is a variegated string of hearts, which I'm super excited about. You can see the pot is nice and full. 
has some long trails. And you know how much I like this one. You can tell because anytime that I buy a plant, I always propagate right away because I love just the process of propagating in water. But this one, I just couldn't bring myself to cut it. So um, eventually I probably will just to just to do it. But for right now, I'm just going to let it sit like that. Let's come over here to the second shelf. Now this one here, <clears throat> this is the Alocasia Tiny Dancer. And this little thing is so cool. I ordered it from a place. I won't say their name because I wasn't very happy with the service. But the plant came and so this one, um, like I said, I, I wasn't very happy with just the service. The plant was fine once I got it. It took a month, but that's another story. Anyhow, this is really cute. It has really taken off. It really likes this spot right here. I would say this is like double the size that it was when I got it. It was about this tall and it had half as many leaves. So. I really like that guy. It's really cute. And this here, because I've been asked, this is actually an oil diffuser. What I do, because this is like my little um, Calathea corner here on the shelf. <clears throat> and if you have Calatheas or Marantas, you know that they like humidity. So even though I have the big humidifier over here, um, I put this one right here for like their own little personal extra boost. And so far it works really well. I don't put the oil in it i just put the water in it i let it run and this is a happy little corner so right here we have the calathea orbifolia if i'm saying it wrong correct me i'm truly really trying to do better at learning the scientific names this one came it had one leaf and like a um this one was like unfurling so now it's up to four so it's definitely growing and filling out. This one I got from Hertz Garden. And it's so funny because when I did the video, um, you can check it out of unboxing for Hertz. My one complaint was that I felt like the plants were small for the pot they were in. But yet, as you'll see, I'm gonna show you in the next ones. They've grown so much and me having them in like only, I say two weeks, definitely less than a month that it ended up working out anyway because they're just growing so much and they're super healthy. So this one right here really surprised me. This is what, what made me want to do the video um, and the updated tour because this has just really taken off. This was easily a third of the size that it is now when I bought it and it has just grown so much. And I noticed today when I went to refill up the little, humil the little diffuser, like, wow, it's really grown so much. So this one is really cool. This leaf had um, this damage when I purchased it and I just never cut it off because it had a new leaf coming out of it at the time. And now it just, it doesn't bother me. So you can see here, these new leaves, um, relatively no damage at all because they're getting the pop, prop, proper humidity. And these are thirsty plants. So a few times a week, like I'll come over here and if it's looking like dry on the top of the soil i'll water them and since i water them so often i like drizzle the water i'll do a watering video i do like an even pour but not like a super deep soak because i know that i'm going to be frequently watering them and i don't want to um drown the roots now this one i'll take this one up so you can see it this is another one that came from hertz and i was kind of like a little annoyed because for the size of the pot this is I think they said a 3.75 inch um, or four inch pot. It had maybe three leaves in it. It was super small, but you can see it has doubled in size. We have this new one right here that I noticed today. So that one's doing really well. Again, you can see I need to clean my shelf, but that's the whole process in itself to get everything down and not have, as you hear my daughter in the background, not have my kids running around to knock stuff over. <clears throat> but anyway, so that one has grown a whole lot and I'm very happy with it. I've ordered from Hertz now twice and um, you can hear I talk about it in the video, but I was pleased. I know there was some stuff going on 
um, going around about them and how they package, but I was very pleased. So this guy here came again in that um, batch of plants that I purchased locally. This is the Monstera Step Steplicana, and I just have it in some water. It hasn't rooted yet, but the leaves are nice and firm, and they're standing up, so I feel like it'll be soon. I'll have roots. This guy here, this is from Gabriella's. Um, this is one of the plants I wasn't happy with, but I can't complain about it because they did refund me the money for it. So it ended up technically being a free plant. I just, I don't know. It dropped by, <clears throat> excuse me, it has dropped within like the first couple days of me having it. It dropped like three leaves, three or four leaves. So this is what's left. This is a new leaf that has grown since it's been here. And it has, I keep bumping into the shelf. It has um, this little one that I guess will come out at some point. And then it was browning and it already had so few leaves that I didn't want to get rid of this one. So I just trimmed it. So that's that. I mean, nothing special to say about it is there. <clears throat> it was a wishlist plant, so I'm hoping it bounces back. Same with this guy back here. I got this at a local plant shop. Um, I probably won't be purchasing from them anymore.